Welcome to this very special episode of the Plan Disney podcast. I'm your host, Amira Martin, a former Plan Disney panelist, and I'm also kind of obsessed with the holidays. Yes, I'm one of those people that decorates on November 1st for Christmas. So today's topic is going to be so much fun to discuss. On this very merry episode, the Plan Disney panelists are going to give their top tips for making the most of your Walt Disney World Resort vacation during the holidays and enjoying all the special offerings in honor of the world's most magical celebration. But first things first, let's meet our panelists. Hello, friends. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So we're here at the Winter Summerland Mini Golf Course. That's so fun. And it's winter all the time. And it's the holidays all the time. So this is like the perfect setting for us to talk about today's topic. Yes. Yeah, you guys excited? So, so excited. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I, say, I feel like you're ready to go. You know. I'm always ready to go for the holidays. Okay. Yes. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we should do some intros. Are you guys down for that? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Taylor, let's start with you. Well, I am a Louisiana girl in a Walt Disney world. I am a daughter, a fairy godmother to a beautiful goddaughter who I love very much. And I'm so excited to be here. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm so excited that you're here as well. <laughs> Tammy, how about you? My name is Tammy, and this is my first year on the Plan Disney panel. I'm a Walt Disney World specialist. My Ohana and I live in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago, and I'm a preschool teacher. Oh, a preschool teacher. Preschool teacher. So I know holidays are definitely near and dear to your heart. Huge. They're yes. huge. All right, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well. Oh, yeah. So excited to be here. <laughs> so my name is Greg. I am from Charleston, South Carolina. I am a dad to two wonderful young daughters, uh, a husband to a fellow Disney fan. Almost bigger than me, probably. I like that. <laughs> First year on the panel, and I'm a Walt Disney World specialist. Okay, so you're all Plan Disney panelists. Now, Taylor, can you tell us a little bit more about what Plan Disney is? Absolutely. So Plan Disney is really just guests helping other guests plan their Disney vacations. I think between all of us, we've probably been like four million times. Oh, at least. Right? <laughs> so we've learned so many great tips and tricks over the years to help you have the best vacation possible. So we just want to spread that magic around a little bit. I love that. So we have all Walt Disney World specialists. I wonder what we're going to talk about today. I think we know. I think we know. <laughs> all right, friends. I'm glad you're here, but I think we need to just dive in. Let's let's get going. Perfect. We have so much to talk about. And I think because we're here at Walt Disney World, we should start at Magic Kingdom. Let's talk about some of the really fun things that are happening over at Magic Kingdom during the holidays. Yes. So obviously, uh, this year is the return of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Yes. We're all so excited. <laughs> about it. So it actually goes from November 8th through December 22nd. Now this is a special ticketed event, so you need to make sure that you get your tickets beforehand. Right. Um, the cool thing though is the party starts at 7 p.m., but you can actually get in starting at 4 p.m. Okay. And this is one of my top tips. So especially with little ones like I have, you want to get there right at four and ride as many attractions as you can. Grab some food, eat dinner before the party actually starts, because once that party gets going, there are so many things happening that you're going to want to make sure that you're a part of. So That's a good tip. Now, I know, Tammy, that we can actually enjoy this party for yeah, a good while. For a good while. So the party, with the ability to come in at 4 o'clock, and the party goes till midnight. So when Cinderella is heading home from the ball, that is when it's time <laughs> to head out from her castle. She's ready for bed. So my pro tip for this type of event, when there, when you have that late start, especially if you have younger crew in your travel party, is to make that day a resort day. Okay. So if you're going to rope drop and start your day at a park and get there at 8 a.m. and go all day and then come back and go to Magic Kingdom, you're going to end up getting really tired by the time the party starts at yes. 7. You're going to get very tired and you might miss some of those top things on your holiday party to-do list. That's so smart. I love that tip. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we have some favorites that are actually coming back for this particular party and just in general for the holidays. Well, yes. So Mickey's Once Upon a Time Christmas uh, Parade yes. is one of my favorites. I absolutely love watching this on Main Street specifically, Main Street USA, because of the snow that falls when oh. you're there. Now, my little ones, where we grow up, we don't get to see a winter wonderland because we grew up, obviously live in the South. So when they get to go there and see snow, they run around, they catch it. Oh, my it's gosh. It's the funnest That's thing. so cute. But they, we have the best time. It's always the best memory. So I'm really looking forward to the return of the parade. Yes. Now, speaking of parades, I know, Tammy, you shared with me a really fun tip about 
the parades because we get more than one chance to see them, correct? Just, um, and for some special events you do, yes. And so my pro tip for watching the parade is to actually watch it in Frontierland. I know watching the parade on Main Street can be a really special situation for your family. You've got the castle in the background and it's iconic. But my children are a little older, yes. and we like to start in Frontierland so we can watch that parade. And then as soon as the parade has passed by us, it is a great way to head on over and hit some of those big attractions that might be on your list while you're needing, waiting for your next party event. Like Big Thunder Mountain Railway is like our, it's our favorite. Um, so we will head straight to that attraction right after. That's so smart. I love that. Now, I feel like we're, we've talked about all the fun things, about seeing all the fun things, the decorations. But I like to dance. <laughs> and I have a funny feeling that there are some of you in here who also like a good dance party, maybe? You know there is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dance anytime I get a chance to. I don't know about y'all, but I know that's what I'm going to do. Um, so for <laughs> me, I love getting a, a chance to go to a Totally Tomorrowland Christmas because that's always fun. Lots of music. It's always a ball. Yes. I yeah, love that. Me and Tammy also love it. No, that's actually <laughs> no, not. Not. It, it is, is slightly cringy. It's more it. than slightly cringy. It's it's an it's embarrassing. Like we we don't hit the dance parties. Do we? <laughs> I got it for everybody. I'll do enough dancing for everybody. She's great. She's She's great. We're like no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now another thing that we definitely have to talk about are the holiday treats, and I found out that Taylor, <laughs> you are my treat queen. Yep, our, yes. our fellow panelist Cindy has dug, dubbed me the snack queen. Okay. <laughs> and so I'm going to always find what the good things are to eat. I mean, it's a Louisiana thing. I can't help myself. So for us, I love to look at the foodie guides that come out on Disney Parks blog right. before we ever even get started. Some people sip their coffee and read the paper. I'm going to sip my matcha <laughs> like a good millennial and I'm going to read Disney Parks blog Perfect. to find out what's going on. I love that. So we have a lot of offerings during the holidays for anything that we want to try. And I love all the holiday snacks that we have available, especially when we visit Magic Kingdom. That's mm, so fun. So many. Oh my goodness. Okay. Another thing we have to talk about is a very special man that sometimes we get to see during the holidays, right, Greg? <laughs> yes, yes. Obviously, Santa Claus is who we're all talking no, about. No, you. Me? Oh, I me. Mean, I didn't know. <laughs> no, 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 well, thank Santa. You, thank yes. you. But yes, no, of course, Santa. Now, one of my favorite places in the Magic Kingdom is Liberty Square. I love the history. I love the nostalgia of it. It's it's such a it's such a great place, especially during Christmas time. It just has that feel. But that's where Santa Claus is actually meeting this year. So you have to take your little ones over there. Oh my it's gosh, awesome. I love that. Now, Tammy, you're really great at making sure that your family gets the right photos with the right characters. Can you give us one of your favorite character tips of taking photos with them, especially yes. during the holidays? So during the holidays, um, for special ticketed events, one of the, the big things to do is visit your favorite characters. And you're not going to see them the way you typically do in the parks. So for this particular event, they're going to be in their holiday best. And it's a really fun way to see your favorite characters in a completely different way. And it makes a really great memorable keepsake if you like my family loves autograph books okay and we've done them throughout our trips and we put the photos in and they have their little signatures next to it it's a great way to continue those autograph books and see a totally different version of your favorite character oh my gosh i love that there's also tip. some unique i'm sorry to chime in here no. but <laughs> <laughs> there's also some unique like unique character offerings so my daughter loves the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. It's one of her favorites. She watches it almost every, oh, during the holidays, during every, almost every night. <laughs> but Jack Skellington is actually meeting in his Santa costume. So oh. it's something different. It's such a great, uh, you know, kind of unique offering. It's really cool. That's so yeah. fun. fun. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, you have to take full advantage of all the little extra special yeah. offerings that are happening during the holidays at Walt Disney World. Now, there's so much to do though. Like how do we so prepare for much. something like this? <laughs> yes. So much. Um, my top tip for preparing for an event like this is you're going to want to do it all and you just, you can't. Mm -hmm. And that can lead to disappointment. The last thing you want in the holiday season is to feel disappointed. Right. You're, you're making these magical memories. So for my family, we pick one top thing you're must do during a special event. Okay. And those are our top priorities. So if I were meeting Jack Skellington at the Christmas party. <laughs> That's where I'm going first. His lines can get long. And if that is like my son's number one must do for that party, I'm going to make sure I'm conscious of what the wait times could look like for something like that. Yes. Because some experiences are a little more popular than others. 
And so I think it's really important to go in there. You don't have to have every minute planned. That, that there's nothing worse than having every minute planned and something goes wrong and all of a sudden you're scrambling. But have your top must-dos and make those the priority and the rest is just icing on the cake. Oh, I love that. Now, speaking of must-dos, Tammy, I need to know what you all have on your list of must-dos when it comes to enjoying this spectacular party. Can I give you two? Yes. Okay. All right. So the first one is going to be Minnie's wonderful Christmas time fireworks show. I love the nighttime spectaculars. They're so much fun. And having the opportunity to see them from a different perspective in the holiday situation is just magical. And then my second is going to be there are photo opportunities at the holiday party that are exclusive to the event. Okay. And this is a great spot for your Christmas card. So my pro tip for these is take your nice, your post family photo that, you know, you envision mailing out to all of your loved ones, but also take some silly, goofy shots yes. <laughs> because I love opening a Christmas card and seeing the unexpected, whether it's a silly face or you're got full Christmas pose, but something a little different to make that holiday card even more memorable. Oh, that's so fun. All right, Greg, I need to know yours. So, so my top, my top is cookies and co hot cocoa on Christmas. I have yes. to have it. It's part of Christmas to us. It just kind of gives you that feel. There's various spots around the Magic Kingdom that are complimentary. So you can actually go up, get some holiday cookies and cocoa and enjoy your time walking around. Oh, I yeah. love it. Complimentary treat. It's the best. It's always the best. Yes. Okay, Taylor, I need to know yours. Okay, so I'm here for the overlays. I love attractions. So when you get something with a little extra Christmas razzle dazzle, I'm here for it. <laughs> so for me, I have to go to the laugh floor. Mike Wazowski plus Christmas puns equals absolute magic. I have to be there. <laughs> Jingle Cruise is another one. That's so a good so one. Ju yeah. Jungle Cruise changes over to Jingle Cruise for the holiday season. Yes. And while you obviously can do it during the party, you can actually do it throughout the entire day as well. They they theme it for the entire time you're there. So oh, it, I yeah. love that. You don't just have to go for the party, but it is a little extra. Space Mountain is another one. So you have some holiday lights, music. So it's, it's really fun. It's something completely different. So you get a little change change of pace. That's so fun. That's my favorite ride. You can also <laughs> find a holiday overlay at the Tomorrowland Speedway. So you can race through the holidays. And this is kind of fun for your little ones because if you're a family like mine that likes to drive and look at the Christmas lights, they actually can do the driving while you're looking at the Christmas lights. So it kind of changes that Christmas memory to a different perspective. That's so yeah. fun. I love that. And I know that once we're done partying, it's almost midnight. There's something that we get when we leave, right? Yes. Isn't there something that we yes. get a little gift? So this year they're doing a commemorative 50th anniversary keepsake to take home and it's an ornament. So you can put it on your tree when you go home and have a little memory from the party that you attended. So What a wonderful yeah. way to end the party. I is. love that. Now, that's not everything that we get to experience. Now, there, the party is one thing, but because it is the holiday season at Walt Disney World, every guest gets to enjoy it. So we're enjoying the 50th celebration right now. Are there some things that we can enjoy that are daytime little sprinkles of well, joy? Yeah, there's some, there's, there's some iridescent. Obviously, the 50th anniversary is all about the iridescent colors. So there's actually iridescent wreaths and decor that's set up throughout the entire park. So some really good photo spots that you can take and kind of get that magic in there too. I love that. And I know there's some wonderful iridescent snacks and things like that, right, Taylor? I'm going to be, okay, let's talk about it, for real. I'm going to be on the hunt. It's not even gonna be cute. So I have to watch all the foodie guides on Disney Parks vlogs before I even get started. I have to find all the good stuff so that way I know where to go. Right, yes, and the holiday season is the perfect time to do it. Oh yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, and then, Something else magical that happens is we get another beacon of light. And that's something that's just any guest can enjoy as they're going to see a Magic Kingdom. Can you tell us a little bit more yeah, about that? Of course. One of my favorite things about the 50th anniversary celebration is the Beacons of Magic, which take place on the park's four icons. And for the holidays, Cinderella Castle is going to change it up a little with a holiday beacon. And it's also going to have some projections that change throughout the season on that castle. So oh my god! Something exciting, a little extra magic behind your photos and family shots for that too. Oh, that's so fun. Cinderella Castle is all way, it's just beautiful It's in mesmerizing. The overlays I just just stand there and stare at it like, yes. wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we talked a lot about Magic Kingdom Park. There's a lot there. There's, there's so, so much, much to do. There's so much. But guess what? There's so much to do at other parks too. I think we should hop into Epcot. What yes. do you guys think about that? Perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah? Okay. okay. Now, the thing that I think I love about coming to Epcot is that it's 
all around the world. So we're going to get to see the holidays all around the world and how that's celebrated, right? So Greg, can you tell us a little bit more about International Festival of the Holidays? Yes, it is one of my favorites. It's actually going to start on November, uh, November 25th this year. Um, and one of my favorites is I love food. So I love eating all different types of cuisine from around the world. Yes. And there's these wonderful, wonderful holiday kitchens that are set up in each of the pavilions. Um, so you get a little taste of all different types of uh, food from any place you want to go. Now, I would love to visit the world. Yes. But I can come to Africa and do it myself just right here. So it's really fun. I love that we get a little taste of everything there. Now, Tammy, <laughs> you're plant-based. Yes. Yeah. So you love having plant-based I options. do. And you know, one of my favorite things, I mean, I have so many favorite things about Walt Disney World, right? Like I keep saying that, but it's true, <laughs> is how accommodating menus are. And plant-based eating at Walt Disney World is amazingly. Sometimes that can be a struggle when you're out dining out outside of the home. And here I never have an issue. In fact, some of my favorite dishes that are plant-based are actually right here at Walt Disney World. And for the holidays, there's going to be two new offerings at Epcot. There is going to be the... Um, I think it's like a peanut stew. So the peanut stew with sweet potatoes, yes. Okay. But I got a little distracted because I was thinking about the new impossible chorizo tamale okay, with yes. the spicy red sauce. Like yes. I'm very excited about that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Those both sound delicious. They do. I'm, I cannot wait to try them. Oh, my gosh. I think we need to go to our resident foodie because <laughs> how do we prepare for a wonderful day at Epcot during the holidays. Now, once again, just like at Magic Kingdom, you have to read the foodie guides that okay. are on Disney Parks blog. I have to, look, they have all the information you need right there. We do the same thing, so I have oh, to yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm telling you, matcha, Disney Parks blog, that's it. That's I love it. it. I love it. So we can make a full list, and I know that there's usually a way that you can kind of make a printable even, if you look at the foodie guides over there. So that's a pretty cool thing that we can do that and get ready for all the good eats over at Epcot. <laughs> it's like Santa making his list, but it's your snacks. So. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and we're not done talking about food. I, I know we talked about cookie and cocoa. Yes, yes. But I think we need to talk about a cookie so, stroll. Yeah, we continue it on <laughs> at Epcot. Yes. So it just goes from Magic Kingdom to Epcot. Now, my family loves to take part in scavenger hunts all around the parks and resorts. So there is a cookie stroll. It's somewhat similar to a scavenger hunt. You're going on the hunt for different cookies. So there's five different stops. You stop, you try a different holiday cookie. You're like a cookie connoisseur. I am such a cookie connoisseur. <laughs> but you get a special cookie at the end for, for doing all the cookies. Oh, my gosh. So okay, so we get a treat for tasting treats? You do get a treat for tasting I, treats. I think I yeah. like that very much so. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> now, Taylor, I know there's something called the Holiday Storytellers that happens in Epcot. Can you explain a little bit more about what that is and how we can partake in it? Yeah, so after you grabbed all those great cookies... <laughs> Go and find the holiday st storytellers. They're all around uh, World Showcase. Okay. And they will tell you about the different cultural aspects of the country and what they do for the holidays. Oh, that's so fun. Now, they're usually like special guests or are there people that represent the country that yeah. actually tell us the story? So you might see a little bit of that country's version of Santa Claus, but then you might see other things from different countries because everybody doesn't do Christmas quite the same way, you right. know, so got to do some different things. Oh my gosh. I love that. And we get to actually sit and enjoy each country and see how they celebrate their holidays during mm -hmm. the year. That's really fun. And we get a little taste of how we celebrate too. Yes. And a candlelight processional is one. Yes. That's one of your favorites. It is one of my favorites. And this event is absolutely amazing. You have celebrity narrators who are telling the story of Christmas and they're accompanied by an orchestra and a large choir. And just, just thinking about it gives me goosebumps. It's yeah. truly memorable. It is an immersive experience. It is a favorite of my family. My children are very involved in music. They're in band, orchestra, and chorus. Um, and they're, this is at the top of their to-do list right now. We're actually coming back in the holiday season, and they've made it very, very clear that I need to be on the hunt for a candlelight <laughs> dining package. Oh, okay. This is a thing. So this, this show can become very popular, especially when there are celebrity narrators that are recognized by guests, and they really want to have the opportunity to hear this story told by them. Right. So they will line up well in advance. So if you are planning a busy park day at Epcot and you don't want to spend a lot of time waiting in line to see this show, but it's at the top of your list like it is for my family, I highly recommend a dining package. You can okay. book these in advance. And what it's going to do is give you the opportunity to have a fabulous meal with your family. There's a variety of locations you'll be able to choose from. And then afterwards, you're given a reserved seating area. So you're guaranteed a spot to see that show. I know that there is a very special 
event, a very special thing that happens in Epcot that you love every single holiday every season. One of can them. we talk about Joyful? We can always talk about okay, Joyful. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so as a performer, I have to catch this one every single time. It's going to give you that gospel flair and that R&B feeling. It's so much fun. They're going to sing the roof off the place. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and I love that that's something that we can all enjoy, even if you come during the day. Sometimes you can see a joyful little performance yes, or celebration. Can. Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> now, one thing that I think we need to talk about, especially with Epcot, and it's very popular right now, yes. is Guardian of the Galaxy. This ride Cosmic Rewind. is amazing. Okay, it now for so the good. holiday, what now are that, we doing? There is a holiday overlay, so there's different music that's played every time you ride. So it's one of the cool parts about it. You have a different variety. So even when you ride it, um, once you get a different experience the next time before the holidays they're doing a holiday mixtape so i'm so excited to see what songs are chosen and what experience you're going to have on it now that's yeah. going to be so much fun yeah. that's such a great reason to go <laughs> in we're really talking as a panel about this particular experience and the new holiday soundtrack and i think it is the thing we are most looking forward to at epcot like everything I else agree. is so much fun and amazing but as greg mentioned like the way the ride changes with the music is incredible. You can write it twice in a row and have a different song and it's a completely different experience. So the holiday soundtrack is sure to just take it to the next level. Another fun holiday overlay is that living with the land over in the land pavilion. Okay. And there's holiday lights as you go through, make sure to ride it at night because they're a little bit brighter. But as you're going through the end, it's really special. Oh my gosh, okay, I love that tip. Now we've covered so much in no. Epcot when it comes to the holidays, but I think we need to hop over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Let's do it. Taylor. I feel like you know. Okay. I love when you give me that face. <laughs> so Sunset Seasons Greetings, that's something that if you are visiting Disney's Hollywood Studios, we have to check out. According to you, that's what you told me. Now tell us a little bit more about it. So for Hollywood Studios, of course, you got to go and see the Tower of Terror. Now they're not going to Tower of Terrorize me personally, <laughs> so I'm going to look at it from the outside and it's going to be beautiful, something for you to see as you're going about the park. Now, if there's anything on the inside, somebody else is going to have to tell you about <laughs> okay, it. Okay, <laughs> yes. I, I know you love seeing an overlay, but you're not a big fan of going inside. Oh, so no. we'll take care of that for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tammy, I feel like there's something fun that Minnie's doing for the she holidays. She is. Minnie is ready to celebrate the holidays. I mean, who isn't? But at um, Hollywood and Vine, you can find Minnie's Holiday Dine. Okay. And she and her pals are dressed in their holiday best. And this is a great way to see some characters in their holiday clothing without attending a special ticket event later mm. in the evening at Magic Kingdom. And it's a great opportunity for your family to come in, sit down, have a meal, take a break from the heat if it's one of those hot December days in Florida, yes. and get to see your favorite characters and still get the hugs and the autographs and the photos with the holiday gear on. Oh my gosh, that is a good tip. I love that. Now, I mean, we have to talk about Santa again, Greg. Yeah, I know, it comes over here. <laughs> you're, you're my Santa expert. I guess I am. Now, where can we see him? So once you hop out of, of, of lunch at, or dinner at Hollywood and Vine, so Santa comes down on a motorcade. On a, on a red sports car. It's the course. coolest thing they ever see. My daughter loves it. He upgraded the sleigh. <laughs> it's Hollywood. You got to give it a little bit of an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. He that's left true. Liberty Square and he came down on his motorcade. It's really fun. <laughs> now, Santa's not the only magical thing happening. There's also a Frozen sing along, but it's holiday themed? It is. So Olaf makes a special appearance at the end. Now, I think we all know how special the ending of that show is anyway. And the show in general is just amazing. But Olaf makes an appearance with Anna and Elsa at the end. So. Oh yeah, my gosh, I, I love that. And I love that we get a little a little twist on it if yeah. we've seen it a million times like exactly. I have. <laughs> Even if you've seen it a million times, the show is a different experience. It's almost like an improv opportunity to go to. I love it myself. Even if my children aren't traveling with me, I still make it a point to see this show. It <laughs> yeah. is so much fun. I never leave without a million laughs. It's incredible. I love that. Yes, so we have to check it out. You have to. And another thing we have to check out is the decor, of course. And I know you love that Toy Story Land does get a little bit of a twist, especially during the holidays, right, Taylor? I love it. Okay, as if Toy Story Land isn't cute enough, then they get that little Christmas overlay so you get to see some of your favorite characters with a few little extra Christmas touches. I'm personally looking for Ham with his little Christmas hat. He's oh my, my favorite. <laughs> He's my favorite. So you got to get a little snarky Christmas goodies <laughs> going on back there. The cool thing about Hollywood Studios, though, is, is that the holiday music plays throughout. 
So you're walking around. You have to, it has the, an immersive feel the entire time. So, it does. Yeah. And the decor is everywhere. I mean, obviously in Toy Story Land, but we're going to see it everywhere. We even see a Santa Gertie, right? Yes. And then, <laughs> and then you'll find Gertie. Obviously, you have to go see Gertie in Echo Lake. He has a Santa hat on. It is the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh, okay. I love that. Another We're, great photo spot. Yes. That great photo. Photo. That's true. Yes. Another one. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Whew. Hollywood Studios. We're going through. A yeah. lot to see. But I feel like we need to go on over to Disney's Animal Kingdom you Park. You can't miss Animal Kingdom. You yeah. cannot miss you it. Okay. And I know that Taylor loves... The Merry Menagerie. I am obsessed with the Merry okay, Menagerie. Okay, can you tell us all about it? Tell us what we're going to see when we check it out. Absolutely. So I love storytelling anyway. So this is just like another little extra way to add a little storytelling into your day through puppetry. So you actually get to see them walking around, doing puppeteering with these cute little animals from around the world. It's amazing. I'm looking for the otter. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> It's so interactive and you get to see little children coming up and playing with the animals and you kind of forget that they're puppets. Like, I am obsessed with the Merry Menagerie. <laughs> My daughters love that too. But there's in the same area, the Tree of Life has a holiday edition that you can see at night. It also rotates with the Beacons of Magic. So make sure to check this out. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love that. And I love that we'll get that little overlay and then we can actually count the little animals inside the tree as yes, well. It's so fun to do that. Yeah. yeah. Now, another thing that I feel like Tammy knows a lot about are these flotillas. The flotillas. <laughs> <laughs> so this year you'll also be able to see Santa on a flotilla. So he's really just using all methods of transportation this holiday season. He's got his car, he's got his sleigh, he's got his flotilla. Um, this one is really fun because it has some festive music and you can see these on the bridges and some of okay. your favorite characters will have their own as well. Um, but this is another great way to get a shot. Um, you won't be able to pose with Santa, but you can kind of do the selfie and get him in the background. And it's another little fun way to add a little holiday to your photo collection. I love that. Now we have to go back to decor too. Of because course. Animal Kingdom Park has its own version of holiday decor. And I love that, Taylor, you love going into Pandora I because do. they do their decor a little bit differently when it comes to the holidays. They do. Even though Pandora is a very far away planet, we do have some humans that live there. So they got to bring their Christmas traditions into things. You can see my favorite thing to find. There's a little Navi nutcracker Aww. that's over at Pongo. Pangu, it's very cool. Oh my gosh, I love that they still decorate, even though it's a whole nother world. Absolutely. But you know, we get a little sprinkle, a little sparkle of the holidays. You bring those touches well. from home. <laughs> now, another thing that I know Taylor loves, I have, to, I have to make sure I give you a little shout out about the things that you love, are the holiday merch. I'm just, I mean, you're currently sporting some. So I feel like you should tell us a little bit more about what we should expect when it comes to holiday merchandise during the holidays here. Well, Tammy knows I will stop somebody in the middle of Main Street, USA. It doesn't matter where we are. Does I will not matter. stop them and be like, honey, where did you get that bag? So <laughs> it happened honey, like six times yesterday. It oh was boy. crazy. Yeah. Look, I need things. I need my stuff. <laughs> so for me, I love getting the new, uh, seeing what new t-shirts come out, what new spirit jerseys. That's my big ticket item. I have to buy my spirit jerseys, what new ears, what new stuff comes around every year. I love that. And I love that you love a spirit jersey, even right. though I feel like it's a little hot where you live. <laughs> it's very hot. The first time I get a little sprinkle of cool winter wind, then you see the spirit jersey come out. That's I how you know it's that. fall. You are so, you're my type of girl. That's I it. love a spirit jersey too. That's it. <laughs> All right, I feel like we've done the parks, okay? But guess what? We're not done. There's yeah. so much more to talk about. <laughs> Let's hop over to resorts because resorts celebrate the holidays in their own special ways as well. And one of the things that I absolutely love as you walk into a Walt Disney World resort is smelling that gingerbread, right, Taylor? Was it even Christmas if you didn't smell some gingerbread? Okay, <laughs> so of course, you know, at Grand Floridian, you know you're gonna get the big old gingerbread house that everybody loves. Yes. You know we're gonna see that one. But there are actually other gingerbread displays across the resorts. So my personal favorite at Beach Club, you can always find, or with, last year I was able to see the uh, carousel and it's Little Mermaid themed. It was the oh, coolest thing I have ever seen. That was beautiful. I love seen. it. It was oh stunning. Yes. So definitely make sure you get around to the other resorts to see what's going and on. And Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is bringing back the gingerbread giraffe. Oh, yeah. It's such a cute thing. My daughter loves giraffes. Her favorite little stuffy that she's had since she was a kid, a baby, um, is this little pink giraffe. So when they brought that back, when they brought that last year and they're bringing it back this year, it is one of the most amazing things you've seen. I so love it. So you guys are definitely going to go see that. We are. We make 
a pit stop there every single okay. time. Okay, because you're a good dad. That's why. Yeah. I try. I try. <laughs> now, speaking of gingerbread, I know there are gingerbread kits that yes. we can get, right? Yeah, so you can find a lot of quick service locations. So you can pick up a kit, take it home. Tammy actually had a great point about actually doing them in your room, right? If you need an early night, like some days are really long and you just want to go back to your resort and unwind, getting one of those and taking it back to your room is a great activity for your kids to do to start that process of unwinding for the day. It's still something fun and exciting that you're doing on your vacation. So it still feels like you're doing something, but you're back in your room. You can take off your shoes and just have a little holiday magic right there in your hotel room. That's true. Now, another thing that you can enjoy, especially as you're going back to your resort, is the holiday decor all over the resorts. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I think I can. Okay. <laughs> So holiday decor is a passion of mine. I have 13 Christmas trees at home, mm -hmm. probably 14 by the end of this year. <laughs> and one of the things I love about traveling to the resorts during the holiday season is they have these elaborately themed Christmas trees and they're all unique to the resort's location. And it's never the same experience. So it's really fun to kind of go in there. And at first it's, it's gonna look like that traditional Christmas tree. It's big, it's beautiful, it's lit up, they're ornaments, but as you get closer, you can see the details are themed to the location. And I absolutely, love a themed Christmas tree. So yes. I really, really get excited when I get to travel to a resort during that time and just take a look and see what's different that year. Oh my gosh, 13 Christmas trees. I know. You're my type of girl. <laughs> I'm only at five. I got to catch up. You got to. You, <laughs> and once you start adding to your collection, it's really hard to stop. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, I think me and Taylor talked about taking a visit up there. Yeah, you <laughs> should. I would love to have a holiday party with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing that we can look forward to, especially at the resorts, are all the holiday items that we can actually maybe possibly take home and even some of the snacks and special things that we can order for ourselves at the resorts. Can you tell us a little bit more about what we can expect when it comes to holiday items, holiday snacks, and all the wonderful things that we can get at resorts, Taylor? Absolutely. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you again to go to Disney Parks blog and look at the foodie <laughs> guides. I'm telling you, I live and die by these things. I cannot plan my trips without them. I love that. So we can make all of our plans that way and check out all the holiday items Absolutely. that we can get from table service, but also for quick service? For quick service locations, you're going to always find some fun holiday treats all around the parks, around the resorts. You just got to know where to look with those foodie guys. Okay. All right. I, I will look. I love it. Now, <laughs> we covered everything at resorts, but I feel like we need to hop over to Disney Springs. Let's talk about all the fun things we can do for the holidays over there as well. Now, my tree queen, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more about the tree stroll? Of course. So at Disney Springs, you're going to find more Christmas trees. Imagine that. Like you're not going to find any shortage of holiday decor this year. I love this stroll. You're going to find a variety of Christmas trees and they're located throughout Disney Springs. So it's not just going to be a straight line of trees or anything like that. And you can pick up a guide for these and work your way through Disney Springs, finding them throughout your day there or your evening if you're there for dinner. And it's a really fun way to check out some of the different trees that are featured this year and there will be some that are new this year for the 50th celebration oh that's so fun and i know there is a guide that you can mm -hmm. get right and it'll tell you where to go for yep. each tree that's so fun we did that last year as actually my panelist class and i did that and we went around and we found all the trees and at the end they gave us a cute little button that's so fun it is so fun i tend to just get lost wandering and finding the trees because they're so magical. I'm just like, wow, look at this one and this yes. one and this. I don't really have a system for it. So <laughs> a guide is a better idea. Yes, yeah. it is. It's so fun that they offer that. Now, I know that you don't get snow at home. No, we don't. But you so can get it here, right? We do get it here. And that's one of the reasons why we come. But in Disney Springs, in the town center, you'll find the snow zone. So your kids can go in or even adults too, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Run around, get that snow, snowy feeling and, and feeling like you're in a winter wonderland. Oh my gosh, yeah. that sounds like so much it's, fun. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I would go by myself. I mean, I'll take my <laughs> yeah, kids, I guess, but you know, <laughs> give me all the snow. <laughs> Solo trips are fun too. Like, <laughs> yes, they are, they sure are. No, I know that we can meet Santa at Disney Springs, right Taylor? I mean, okay, if you did you even do Christmas if you didn't meet Santa? <laughs> so I am so excited about this meet and greet. You can find Santa in Disney Springs and you might even be able to get a culturally diverse Santa on your video visit, which is so exciting for me. I know when I was a little kid, it was so exciting to see Santas that look like me. Yes. So it's a little special extra kind of magic for your holiday season. 
One of my favorite spots to visit during the holiday season at Disney Springs is Hangar Bar. So this is a spot you can visit year round, but during the holidays, it becomes the holiday Hangar Bar. And it really looks like someone took the biggest box of Christmas decorations and it just exploded in this place. <laughs> like it's so much fun, it's so festive. Um, Taylor and I had the opportunity to visit it last year with some of our yeah, fellow really. panelists and they feature <laughs> some amazing holiday cocktails that I really recommend trying out. And we found it just by walking by and we just happened to think, we haven't been to this location before, let's check it out. And I was just absolutely mesmerized by all the decorations. It's so much fun. How did I miss out on that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're like visiting Santa or doing the holiday oh, tree. I know. Exactly. You know, there's a lot just to running do there during the, the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, don't you like going over to the Waterside stage? I do. I told y'all I love a performance. So I love to go to the Waterside stage and check out what they're talking about over there. And you can get some special information on Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. It's a great little holiday treat. Oh, I love that. Now, before you leave Disney Springs, one of my family's traditions every time we visit Walt Disney World is to get an ornament, even if it's not Christmas time. But there is the Days of Disney shop over there, the holiday shop. Okay. And you can go in and you can find a huge variety of ornaments available that you can take home. There are characters. There might be attraction ornaments, maybe the year you're visiting. But you can also get your holiday ornament personalized there, which is a really nice touch. It's a little way to add a little extra magic to your Christmas tree to have mm -hmm. like maybe the year you visit or your family's name on that ornament. And one of the things I like about this is visits to Walt Disney World are very busy. You have a lot to do. We've talked about a lot of holiday stuff that we are trying to put on our, <laughs> yes, our Christmas have. wish list. So you can have your ornament personalized and they will give you an estimated time of when you can actually come back and pick it up. You don't have to wait for it. Um, and if it's ready before that time frame, you'll actually get a push message that it is ready for pickup. Oh. And you can head back to that location and pick up your souvenir to take home and display on your tree. Or like some of our ornaments are so near and dear to us that we keep them up year round on little hooks in the house and stuff like that. Oh. And this is actually something that you don't have to do just during the holiday season. You can do it year round. So even if you're planning Christmas in July, you can stop by and pick up an ornament. Oh, I love that. Now I know, Greg, you told me an ornament story where I think maybe your kids gave yeah, so their we grandparents. Yes, we did it as a, as a gift idea for the grandparents for, for Christmas. So when we came down, it was, it was the end of summer, but we thought it forward because we were able to do it. And they were able to personalize something for each of their grandmothers. So it was really nice. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. so sweet. I love that idea and that we can do it year round, if, yes. especially if we think ahead. Mm -hmm. How great yes. is a, a <laughs> gift that's already ready when the holidays come around? Yes. That's so fun. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, Greg, I feel like we've talked about some of the things that you love, but we haven't talked too much about golf. And we're here at a golf course. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I play a lot of golf. I try to almost every week. And I try to get my daughters into it. And so they, they kind of like come with me to the driving range and stuff. But we are here at Winter Summerland Golf Course. And it is the perfect place to take your little ones or just come. It's open year round. So you get that holiday flair, but you're also able to have do an activity outside of the park. So it's really fun. So fun. Yeah. And it's miniature golf. So miniature everybody golf, exactly. can play. So everybody can play. <laughs> they don't feel like they're out of their league at any point. Oh, I'm not, they're fun. probably better than me at it. Actually. I know. I was going to say, I think kids are better <laughs> yes. at manager golf than we are. <laughs> yes, which I think it's too serious. But <laughs> Okay. We've talked about so much, but sadly, it's almost time to go. But before we go, are you guys ready for a lightning round? I think so. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love this. All right. So listen, you're going to give me the first answer that pops into your head. Okay. okay. All right. Just say what it is real fast. Don't overthink it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So we're going to start with you, Greg, okay. and then I'm going to go to Tammy, and then I will come to Taylor. Okay. Ready, set, let's go. go. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Which park or resort has your favorite holiday decor? Magic Kingdom. Okay. Magic Kingdom. Absolutely Magic Kingdom. All right. With the return of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, what are you most excited for? Always the parade on Main Street USA with the snow. Oh, I'm excited for the fireworks. I love a nighttime spectacular, so seeing Minnie's firework display is going to be a, a top hit for me. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so tough. There's so much to do. Um, okay, Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration Castle Show. That's going to be fun. Ooh, okay. Favorite holiday snack? Caramel gingerbread cookie sandwich in Germany. You can also get it outside of the holiday sometimes too. It's oh, a little tip. Let me go with the holiday themed churros. Like I love churros and that little extra sprinkle of magic is extra fun. Yes. Oh, Greg, you got me with the cookie. That's definitely going to do it for oh, sure. It's the gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite holiday entertainment offering? Mine is the party. It's always uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and all the offerings. So. 
Love it. Candlelight Processional. Okay. Yep. Mary Menagerie, period. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Top tip for spending the holidays at Walt Disney World. Make sure you take some time to just enjoy the quiet time with your family. Go into the Wilderness Lodge, enjoying that lobby. Ugh. Smart. Take the holiday photos. Then you're done. You've, you've done your vacation and you've crossed something off your holiday to-do list. So. Oh, okay. Do the cookie stroll because I know in my family, we love to eat. So do the cookie stroll. Enjoy that with your family. Really just make some memories for sure. Love it. Okay. Last one. Favorite holiday memory at Walt Disney World. All right. My youngest loves Stitch. He's in dressed in the Santa costume. He dances. Watching her interact. Is, is, it was amazing. Uh, the first time I saw snow on Main Street, I'm from the Midwest. I see snow all the time. I don't enjoy it at all. <laughs> but in this particular situation, I absolutely loved the snowfall. Oh. Okay. For me, it was really hanging out with my Plan Disney 2022 class, oh. doing Christmas stuff together. I love that. That was the perfect ending. Definitely perfect. All good answers. All good answers. Perfect ending. Oh, gosh. You guys, this was so great. So much Thank fun. you so, so much, much for fun. being here. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into this special episode of the Plan Disney Podcast. Now be sure to check out a new episode every third Wednesday of the month. And if you're enjoying the podcast, be sure to leave us a review. In the meantime, check out Plan Disney Panel over on Instagram and Plan Disney over on Twitter. If you have a question of your own, stop by plandisney.com to ask. The panelists will be so happy to help you. To keep up on the latest news, stop over to the Disney Parks blog. Thank you so much to the You're panelists so for welcome. being here thank today. You. You're welcome. Thanks and for thank me. you all for tuning in and happy holidays. <laughs>